First impressions are important for every city, right? And that is why DIA wants to make a change of scenery around the airport. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo has more on the surprise it could be waiting for you when you land. There's a lot of space out here. For some, first impressions are everything. There are no mountains. <laughs> At Denver International Airport, some things stand out for travelers. Big white plumes that are the uh, airport. For people that live here, how often do you use the Denver International Airport? Oh, uh, once a month? Probably uh, four or five times a year. They heard something that could make a lasting impression for those flying into the city. Bison roaming around 200 acres of DIA land. To see bison in Denver, I think, would be pretty cool for people that aren't accustomed to seeing them. That's a better impression than the uh, blue devil-eyed statue over, <laughs> <laughs> over on the south side of the airport. But there's more benefits than just the awe factor. According to Rocky Mountain Arsenal, the refuge for all these bison next door to the airport will allow for the bison to breed more land to roam, essentially preserving the gene pool for these bison who were once on the brink of extinction. That's uh, a, a big push lately is trying to, you know, preserve the, the genetic heritage of the bison. It's still in the early phase, but travelers made their message pretty clear. Oh, give me a home. Where the buffalo roam and the skies are not cloudy all day. Give them a home. <laughs> right here in Denver, Thomas Hoppo, Denver 7. Oh my gosh, I'd love to see them out there. Now, right now, there's no timetable for when this could happen. This is just initial talks with Rocky Mountain Arsenal. The Arsenal, by the way, isn't the only place in the area to check out bison. There's the Buffalo Herd Overlook in Genesee. I know you've seen them out there, as well as Daniels Park in Douglas County.